Hey guys, today's video is going to be another Poshmark Q&A. What's happening to my voice? First question, I'm trying to sit back because if I move forward, there's a, there's a glare. There's a glare from my window, so I'm trying to sit back a little bit. Okay, first question. Hi Vanessa, hope you're doing well. Now that you mentioned it, my Google searches show posh Macari listings with white or close to backgrounds. Question, so if you're not supposed to word for word your title, how are you supposed to title your listing? Wow, I have a lot to change. Thank you. Always love your videos. Thank you, Tina. Um, you're not supposed to word for word your title. So I think you might have gotten confused. Um, I made a video recently giving you guys um, like Poshmark listing tips. And I said in that video that you shouldn't, um, you shouldn't use your title word for word in your description. Maybe that's where the confusion came from. Cause you said, how are you supposed to title your listing? So yeah, I think you got confused. Um, Google just doesn't like the repetitiveness. So for instance, if you had a listing, say for like this sweatshirt, um, this is a, uh, I think this is Forever 21. So Forever 21, baby blue, it has like some distressing up here and on the bottom. Um, so Forever 21, baby blue distressed hoodie. You don't want to put Forever 21 Baby Blue Distressed Hoodie in your description. You can use those words, but don't use it like word for word in your description. Does that make sense? I think that's where the confusion came in. I think you might be a little confused, I think. Next question, is a share to a Poshmark party as effective as a share to my likers? Honestly, sharing to a Poshmark party, I don't think is as effective as just sharing it in general. I honestly rarely share my listings to parties anymore. If a party's going on, during a time when I'm sharing, then sometimes I will, but honestly, I rarely share my stuff to parties. Next question, hey girl, I have a question for Q&A. So I've been selling a mixture of things I've sourced and things my family keeps giving me to sell. Some of it I thought is hideous, but it's selling anyway, but obviously it doesn't go with my brand. And I'm wondering if I'm hurting myself in the long run or if it honestly doesn't matter. I mean, it's making me money. Don't even know how the all brands that don't sell. Okay, so I was kind of in that predicament when I first started out. I was like, I want to have a curated closet. You know, I just want to sell, like I just wanted to sell uh, pink Victoria's Secret stuff and like Nike stuff and Adidas stuff. And I didn't want to sell any other brand. Um, I wanted stuff to look the same. You know, I wanted to have like a theme and I threw that out the window, honestly, because you're going to be hurting yourself. You hurt yourself if you're limited to like certain brands or styles. Um, so, and it's funny that you say stuff's hideous, but you know, I, I, I think that too. Like I see ugly ass things in the thrift store. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so ugly. But then I'm like, oh my gosh, somebody will think that that's beautiful. Definitely gets tricky sometimes. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think you should limit yourself. Um, I mean, it's nice to have like, or to want your closet to look, you know, like aesthetically pleasing, like these aesthetically pleasing Instagrams. It's like, I don't have fucking time for that shit. Like, no, no. Same with my closet. My closet is like aesthetically pleasing because every listing has a white background, but it honestly, like, I, I don't care really about the brand. It's more so the style that I look for. Um, but like I said, when I first started out, I was all about brands. I was a brand snob. I was like, oh my gosh, I want this and this. Ew, I don't want that. Uh, uh, uh. But then I'm like, shit, I'm hurting myself by limiting myself so much. Next question. Can you please do a makeup collection or some makeup declutter videos? Love you, by the way. Oh, thank you, Polina. Um, so I, when was the last time I did a makeup declutter video? It was a while ago. I, I, I should do one of those videos because it is about time. It is about that time where I go through my makeup again and I say, shit balls, I haven't used this in a while. Why do I still have it? Why do I have 65 different friggin' mascaras? You know, <laughs> like why do I have 70 different eyeliners? It's nonsense. I don't need that. It's nonsense. Like I get it. People collect makeup, but makeup expires. It's like collecting food. Honestly, I've made a video talking about that before and it is, it's like collecting food because it expires. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll make one of those videos coming soon. Next question, were you doing as well as you are now when you first started? I'm only getting one to two sales a day and I kind of get hard on myself. I've been putting so much effort in. Also, how many listings have you been able to get done in a day? I can only do like 20. Okay, so first off, no. When I, when I first started, no, I was not doing what I am now. One to two sales a day, if you're first starting off, that's really good and don't, compare yourself to other people. That's my biggest advice to new resellers is do not compare yourself to other people because everyone's different. Everyone is, every, everyone's different. Just remember that. And then your other question, how many listings have you been able to get done in a day? Well, so over the weekend I sourced 110 things and I was able to list 
uh, all of those I started yesterday afternoon and I finished this morning. So yeah, I don't like having a death pile or a money pile because it's just, it's like literally money just sitting on your floor. Like what, just, just list it. So yeah, when it comes time to list things, like I, I don't make excuses, even though I have four kids and a friggin' crazy household, <laughs> I make the time. I don't try to make excuses. I am busy as feck, but I make the time to list. Next question. Oh, I just want to read this comment cause, cause I enjoyed it. Uh, Colleen said, we need these videos. We, we need these videos. And of course we like them. We need them from people like you with items like you have. 100% real. Love it. So she's talking about a video that I made. Um, I made a what sold video and I asked you guys, you know, do you want to see more of these videos? And clearly Colleen says yes, because, um, hundred percent real. Like I show you guys the real things that I've sourced. I'm not like, guys, I went into Goodwill. I was only in there seven minutes and I found 10 high end designer items. Like, no, no. I show you guys real ass things that I find, um, you know, bread and butter things. So yeah, I definitely think I am going to do more what sold videos. Um, cause I mean, if no one else likes it, at least Colleen likes it. At least I got Colleen <laughs> liking those videos. Next question. I think this is the last one. Yes, this is the last one. Do periods count as a line break? If we make a paragraph and add periods, will that hurt the SEO? So I think a lot of people got confused in that video. I'll link it down below where I told you guys that your listing descriptions should be like one big paragraph. I think that's specifically what I said. One big paragraph. I think a lot of people got confused and thought that I meant just like one big run on sentence with no punctuation. I didn't, I didn't mean that. And I, I guess that's my bad for saying like, I don't know, one big paragraph, maybe, although a paragraph should have punctuation, you know. <laughs> um, so yeah, so just to clear that up, when you do your listing description, it should be a paragraph. Yes, use punctuation. No, that won't hurt you. Um, it's just those line breaks, like a, a, a space. That's what Google doesn't understand. Okay, so that is it for this video. If you have any other questions, you can comment down below. Send me a DM on Instagram or tweet me on Twitter. If you're new to Poshmark and you want to sign up, you can use my code. It is keeping it rad. You get a $10 credit and I also get a $10 credit. So thank you. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video.